years so we watched it grow and three of us we were young and school was young and um, so I was a teacher there for the first two years I taught at the school and then the third year when we had the convent and the hall I was then down at the convent and te became teaching music uh, private lessons and then I'd go up to school and take singing and I'd also go out to the classrooms teaching school music so that's, that's my main role. I was teaching full time for the first two years and then did music teaching. And what years were you there? Oh, 1960 to 1965. Fantastic. So the founding years? We were the founding years. We lived uh, the first two years because we didn't have a convent, we lived in central Bankstown. So we were the community there. We had a <laughs> Sister Chanel, she was a trick. She used to call us the Dotty Nuns because the girls wore. <laughs> Blue and white dots, so we were the dotty nuns, she was lovely, mm -hmm. and they all were. And then the second year, we used to get the bus to, uh, to school, and then the second year we lived in Penania Convent, which was closer, and the priest used to just drive us up to the school. And, uh, and then the third year, we went into the convent. It was, just, it, was, it was joyful. It was, first of all, it was my first year out teaching, so, and we just grew with the girls. The main thing was the girls, they were just, they were, television had infected their lives at that stage. It only was made in 1956, wasn't it, when we came to Australia. Mm -hmm. And um, so we had, you go into the classroom, the first year I think we had 40 in each class. If you said jump, they'd say how high. Mm -hmm. They were as enthusiastic about the new school when, when I just have remembrance, the first day we started school, the girls had desks, but I don't remember we had a desk for the, on the, for the teacher. Might have only been for a few days or a week, but they rejoiced in the fact that it was new. And then when, camp, when we had a crucifix, and that was put on the wall in the middle of the class, you know, up the top, they liked that. And if a photo of Mary McKillop, picture of Mary McKillop came, they rejoiced in that. Mm -hmm. So. We just grew together and enjoyed things as we went. And they were building, we were in the, th where the three classrooms were, and we were building a two-storey classroom behind. And, um, and the third, I think it was the second year, uh, third year, we must have got a huge enrolment, because I think we had almost over 60 children in each class girl. It was huge, I remember that. Um, but they were just so good. And I guess it sounds like they were really grateful as well. We they were. Started. They just yeah. they enjoyed it. And they used to clean the school. We didn't have cleaners. Mm -hmm. 
was one who's told me, Sister Monica Barlow, she was one of the first <laughs> ones, because one day I was saying how, you know, we were the girls and we were teaching them how to, uh, to polish with the grain of the wood. This is on the, uh, the platform. And she said, yes, that's what I remember. We were doing it. You were doing it with us because we just did, the girls did it with us. <laughs> it was that kind of thing. Yeah. You know, we cleaned the toilets, we did, and emptied out the garbage bins. And yeah. <laughs> all those things are just taken for granted these days. That's true. Yes. So you were sort of in it together. Yes, we were, and took a pride in the school. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. new school. Um, Sisters of St. Joseph were built for us. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it was, a, it was just the joy of it. I think it was, we were watching it grow together, yeah. and each building. Yeah. Yes. That you were part of something yes. bigger, that it wasn't yes. just and there was this, that... Sister Geraldine reminded me, when my brother was ordained, he came out and he um, blessed the girls, and there's, there's a photo of Christine Zelinska, I think, yes. Yes, of him blessing her, and that was on the terrazzo, we used to call it, was that part that joined the, um, the, our building to the next. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes, little things like that. Yes. But yes, the girls were just uh, lovely. Yeah. Sister Johnny was a very good principal, good yeah. discipline, very refined, and mm -hmm. very, yes, she was just a good choice, I think, mm -hmm. to start that new school. Yeah, and it would have been a big responsibility yes. too. Yeah. And she was the one, when she wanted a school song, she said, you know, so she asked Sister Edward, Sister Pat Bartley, to write the words and she said and you can write the music just like that she said yeah, it's not too hard in doing many yama luches <laughs> and, and i said well that's what i used for the first bit because yeah she just it was her idea and uh, that's how we had that so sister geraldine wanted the school song and she asked she wanted and she to, just said you know you yeah. can do it you can do it yeah. so it's no trouble <laughs> oh, yeah well you just say yes first, right yeah, that's right it is <laughs> And she said to me just recently, music was very important in the school. Mm -hmm. We had uh, just the three classrooms, so at the end of the 40 minute period, the, the teacher would move, the children would, the girls would just stay in the same room. And as we went into the room, naturally the girls used to stand up and say good morning or good afternoon. And uh, so sister said to me, teach them, teach them some songs or you know, some rounds or something, just so we did. Whenever we went out in the bus, we would sing. And uh, we had no music room or no piano. Yes. And the first thing I used was uh, a girl down in Panania, Maria Kirsch. She was Austrian and she had a small piano accordion. Mm. I didn't know how to play it. Um, Sister Edward, she knew and she gave me the basics and how to play it. So that's what I had to teach them. And I, we can't remember when we had the piano. It might have come the second year in this just room up the front. But then, when we had the hall, this is the amazing thing that I remember. Um, the girls would come now. They, at that stage, there would have been first year, second, the third year it was first year, second year, third year. So there'd be three first years, three second year, three third years. The Wyndham scheme was just coming in then. Mm -hmm. I'd have all the first year. That could be 120 or more, or more as a name. For they would walk into the. No other teacher would come with them. They walked into the hall. They stood there for 40 minutes. I stood there teaching them a song and then I'd wander over the piano and play while they sang. They did not move. They were wonderful. When I think back now, yeah. you could Amazing. Oh, <laughs> nowadays they'll be turning somersaults after <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> They're still pretty, Emily's Chain Girls are still pretty amazing. Are they? Yeah, That's yeah, true. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. I think we're, and we've been blessed, I think, from our beginnings. Yes. Well, yeah. I just remember that when I look back and say, oh, we just took it for granted, they came in. They did this. I think one day, I think one girl fainted once, and I think I just said, Take her out, and the rest just stood there, and we just yeah. carried on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how it's so, so, so good. Yes. yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, the spirit of Mary McKillop, that let there be light, you know, that would be still there. That's what I would wish. Yes. Yeah. I know things have changed, the modern world is. Um, but I'd have the spirit to be there. Yes. You mentioned joy earlier. Would that work when you think of the spirit of Mary? Yes. Oh, what yes. are some words? It was a happy place, and work together. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's just sort of community. Yes. Yeah. And the priests were wonderful. The two priests, they were very good and supportive. Yeah. And, yes. and the parents, the parents were marvellous too. And Margaret Hunt, yeah. who to interview her, she was wonderful. Yeah. She was our secretary and she was there for years. Oh, yes. wow. Yeah. Just those two years when there wasn't a, a really good tuck shop. I remember we just had pies in winter and sandwiches in summer. And then, then we went to the convent, of course, we'd have our own meals. Yeah. Is there any sort of wisdom that you'd like to share sort of from your time there or in anything for our girls or for our community? Well, you know, you asked about light, but there'd be light. And that's what I think. If there would be light, but their light would shine. Mm -hmm. Be a witness, you know. Be a witness in this world because we really need good witnesses to let their light shine mm -hmm. and to be happy mm -hmm. to do what you do what you ask to do and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You know, life's meant to be joyful and mm -hmm. um, it's yeah, beautiful. Yes, thank you. Keep smiling. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs>